so hi everyone after discussing knowledge distillation and distilled word in my previous video this time we will be discussing about another variant of word that performs as good as bird with a size of almost one tenth of the original bird that is tiny bird which also works on the ideation of knowledge, uh, knowledge distillation as distilled bird but there is a very stark difference in distill in distilled bird as you saw that uh, we were using just the uh, the end output of the teacher network to train the child network to train the student network but in case of tiny bird due to certain differences so the idea is that uh, the model should be able to learn the linguistics as well as bird is able to learn so that it can be fine tuned for any sort of a um, challenge uh, the performance of distilled bird might get compromised because it is just getting trained on the out uh, the final output of the teacher uh, bird but in case of tiny bird what we would be doing is that we would be using the different sections of bird uh, uh, as you will see in the structure below here you can see that the embedding layer the encoder section where we have a stack of four layers that is multi head attention add norm feed forward add norm and the prediction layer so uh, what we have done is that we have divided bird into three sections the prediction layer the attention layer and eventually the embedding layer and we would be using this uh, the output from all of the three these uh, these three sections to uh, to train the three sections of the child bird as well of the student bird as well so uh, so that it is getting trained not just using the final predictions but using the output from the attention layer as well as from the embedding layer so uh, let's understand first of all how tiny birds look like so in case of original bird uh, the total number of encoder stacks is 12 as i have discussed in my previous video but in case of tiny bird the number of encoder stacks is 4 this means that the total repetition done here it is 4 while in case of an original bird it is it goes till 12 now also the mating size has been reduced from 300 uh, to 312 from 768 in the original bird this makes a tiny bird uh, has just 14.5 uh, million of uh, total parameter of 14 parameters as compared to 110 million parameters in bird making it nearly one tenth of the total size so let's understand how does the knowledge distillation process happens in three uh, in three steps so the first is the transformer layer distillation uh, so this particular in transformer layer distillation it involves it can be of two types one is attention based distillation we are using the output produced by the end head attention so it's the final output produced by uh, after uh, sequencing all the encoder stacks so it's not just out uh, the output of one stack but after the uh, whole stacking of encoder is done the final output coming from the attention section from the encoder section is called as attention based distillation or hidden state based distillation so in hidden state based distillation we would be using the inner layers of the encoders the output from the inner layers of the encoders would be used to train the student uh, bird layers so the loss function that we would be using is that mean squared error uh, that we would be using for any type of distillation but uh, one problem uh, in using mean square mean square is, uh, error is that as i told you already uh, the embeddings of both student bird and teacher birds are different that is 768 and 312 so how we would be able to uh, calculate mean squared error so in this case we would be using met uh, matrix vectorization where what we would be doing is that uh, we would be taking the output n cross 312 from the student bird then we would be training a bird uh, a weight matrix 312 into 768 that gives us uh, the output for the output dimension for the teacher bird that is n cross 768 so using a weight matrix we would be calcul we will be doing fa matrix factorization and eventually calculating the mean squared error between uh, the hidden uh, the hidden or the hidden layer output from the teacher bird to the hidden layer output from the student bird now the next uh, uh, the next distillation is embedding layer distillation so as i told you earlier before the encoder stacks coming in we have an uh, embedding layer also present in bird so the output of the embedding layer would be used to train the uh, the embedding layer present in the student bird uh, and the loss function remains the same mean squared error now the final uh, distillation is prediction layer distillation which is similar to distill but where we would be using the uh, logits from the output of the teacher bird to train the uh, out, uh, to train uh, the student bird network so what we would be doing is we would be uh, reducing the cross entropy loss between the soft target and the soft prediction using the below formula minus soft max uh, uh, soft target into a uh, log soft max of soft prediction so what is soft target and soft prediction this you can get in my knowledge distillation video that i have already explained